Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so I'll be covering the topic Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. Achha, the one of the main important things about Hodgkin's lymphoma is that uh, like, the characteristic thing hoti hai na about this is that it arises in a single node or in a chain of nodes. Okay, just remember this. Chain of node meaning ke, uh, cervical chain or para-aortic, aortic chain. Pe, so it arises in a single node or chain of nodes and per usse per it spreads to lymphoid tissue. Okay. Dusri, dusri cheese is this, the reed Sternberg cells. Now these are particular kind of cells which are only found in the Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. So these are like the characteristic hallmark. And ye hote kya hai? these are tumor giant cells. Now tumor giant cells, hote hai, this thing is really important, ki derive kahan se hota hai, okay? So they are basically derived from the germinal centers of the lymph node and the post germinal centers of the B cells. Okay, so post germinal centers of the B cell and germinal centers of the lymph node, meaning that uh, ye these reed Sternberg cells uh, they are kind of the same as B cells because their origin is same here. Understand? But the difference is that these do not express the B cell wali genes or ye tumor cells. Okay, now in their function, kya hota hai? Ke they basically release factors that uh, factors constant interleukin 5 interleukin 10 monocolony stimulating factors and chemokines okay so these factors release karwate hain which in turn causes what accumulation of other lymphocyte macrophages and granulocytes okay so these kind of chemo attractants hote and they cause all of these uh, cells to you know attract towards the reed sternberg cells which are present where in the lymph node okay so this is hodgkin's lymphoma a case scenario mein usually ye aata hai ke uh, <coughs> The age is very very important. Okay, so uh, first of all, 32 year uh, old. Jo hai, this is the average age of diagnosis, and age is important. Why? Because ye usually young adults mein or adolescents mein sabse zada common hota hai. But the good thing is the prognosis is excellent and it is highly curable. Okay, now the most important thing uh, about Hodgkin lymphoma is the classification. Okay, acha. Forget this uh, classification. Jo hai, wo two uh, do cheezo ki hoti hai. Okay. Uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma is divided into two, classical and non-classical. Okay, Achha, ab classical mein jo hai, wo char types aate hai. There's nodular sclerosis, there's mixed cellularity, there's lymphocyte rich and there's lymphocyte depletion. Okay, jo mein star mark hai. And there's non-classical mein, sirf lymphocyte predominance aati hai. So you need to, under, uh, you know, learn this by heart. Okay. Achha. Now this was fair enough. Achha, ab, uh, moving on to the main part, the pathogenesis. Ke how exactly is this uh, caused? Achha, before we start the pathogenesis, ek cheez I'll just tell you about Reed Sternberg cells. Reed Sternberg cells, jo hote na, they, like I said, ke wo derive kahan se hote? from the germinal centers and post-germinal centers of the B cells, right? So these kind of B cells hi honge, except the fact that they do not express B cell specific genes. Okay, so this is not function of and they will be non-functional in IG genes. Okay, so this is what they are. Okay, now what is it? One to number one, activation of transcription factor NF-kappa-beta. This is like really, really important. Okay, NF-kappa-beta ki jab activation hoti hai na, so this is what causes it. Now activation kin mechanism se hoti hai, ek to number one, Epstein-Barr virus. Jab bhi Epstein-Barr virus uh, infection hota hai na, that basically causes NF-kappa-beta to become activated. To increase transcription ho jati hai. So basically jo Epstein-Barr virus hota hai na, that promotes the lymphocyte survival and proliferation. Thik hai? Achha, now the second mechanism is when Epstein-Barr virus, uh, you know, like it infects uh, cells, so it tumor cells. Ban jate so in tumor cells, pe, there is this one protein which is known as the LMP1. Okay, LMP1. Now what LMP1 does is that it transmits signals to <coughs> upregulate the NF-kappa-beta. Okay, so the virus itself is activating NF-kappa-beta, then the protein is being the tumor cells pe protein banner wo bhi increase karwa rahe nf kappa beta tc cheez jo hai wo agar um, a20 or ikf ikb theek hai <coughs> what are these these are basically inhibitors of nf kappa beta to agar in mein loss of function mutation ho jaye na so obviously inhibitors wo uh, they have loss of function right to wo apna function nahi karenge and so uh, they, this will also cause an increase in the nf kappa beta more activation theek hai now there are mechanisms. Now what exactly uh, NF-kappa-beta does it? When it activates it, it 
causes or rescues crippled germinal centers from apoptosis meaning that jo lymph node hota na lymph node mein there are certain germinal centers ab un germinal centers mein let's say agar uh, if they are crippled meaning that they are not doing their job properly ya wo b cells bana rahe which do not express the b cell specific genes theek hai तो जो है अब उन जर्मनल सेंटर्स को दे शुड अंडर गो वट एपोप्टोस राइट बट जब ये एन एफ कैपा बीटा एक्टिवेट हो जाता है ना सो इट स्टॉप्स दैट एपोप्टोस और वो जर्मनल सेंटर्स ना दे डू नॉट अंडर गो एपोप्टोस तो वो रहते हैं और फिर वो वन दे लाइक जब वो रहते हैं ऑबियसली दे दे कॉज वट रीड टर्नबर्ग सेल्स टू बिकम टू प्रोड्यूस ठीक है सो दिस इन टर्न लीड्स टू रीड टर्नबर्ग सेल्स अब रीड टर्नबर्ग सेल्स बन गए इन साइड द लिफ नोड्स ना वट दे डू इज दैट दे रिलीज फैक्टर्स इंटरलिक इन फाइव इंटरलिक इन टेन के मुकाइन और फिर वो ही अट्रैक्ट करते हैं दीज अट्रैक्ट लिम्फोसाइज मैक्रोवेज इजनोफिल एंड ऑल द अदर ब्लड सेल्स ठीक है वाइट ब्लड सेल्स और इनका मेन फंक्शन क्या होता है इनकी ये तीन चीज़ें करवाते हैं ठीक है द रीड सर्नबर्ग सेल्स नीड्स द सपोर्ट ऑफ दीज लिम्फोसाइज मैक्रोफेज फॉर थ्री थिंग्स एक तो सपोर्ट ग्रोथ एंड सर्वाइवल ठीक है ऑफ द रीड स्टर्नबर्ग सेल्स दूसरा ये कि जो आर एस रीड स्टर्नबर्ग सेल्स होते हैं ना उनके ऊपर दो रिसेप्टर्स होते हैं एक होता है सी डी थर्टी और एक होता है सी डी फोर्टी ठीक है सी डी थर्टी सी डी फोर्टी अब होता ये कि जो इजनोफेल्स होते हैं टी सेल्स होते हैं वो एक्सप्रेस लिगेंस दे एक्सप्रेस लिगेंस एंड देन दे बाइंग टू सी डी थर्टी एंड फोर्टी विच इंक्रीज द एन एफ कैपा बीटा तो वो एन एफ कैपा बीटा को और मज़ीद इंक्रीज करवाते हैं ठीक है एंड नंबर थ्री क्रॉस टॉक बिटवीन सेल्स जब भी रीड स्टर्नबर्ग सेल्स लाइक रीड स्टर्नबर्ग सेल्स और ये इन सारे सेल्स के दरमियान क्रॉस टॉक होती है सो दैट कॉज इज इम्यून डिसफंक्शन ठीक है दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द पैथोजेनिस